Intermediate Hip Flow with Haley Beth Worthman. Begin on your backs by bending your knees and reaching your right leg up to the sky, flexing the foot and crossing the ankle over the left knee. Pick up the left leg, bring the arms through the left leg by threading the needle for Sukhrandasana. As you get deeper into the posture, you can take your right elbow and gently press the right thigh away from you by pulling the legs in with the arms and pressing the leg away. Relax the shoulders and the face and back off if necessary. As you're ready, exhale, place the leg down, reach the right leg up, place it back to meet the left. Inhale, left leg high, cross the ankle over the knee, flexing the foot, pick up the right leg and thread your arms through, gently pulling the right thigh in. And as you get deeper, pressing the left elbow into the left thigh. Breathing here, inhaling and exhale, using the breath to get deeper into the posture. As you get deeper, you can hold on to the shin by pulling that in, or you can back off and just pull the thigh in. As you're ready, exhale, right leg down, left leg reaches the sky, and place both feet back on the ground. Hug the knees into the chest and roll back and forth a couple times, coming into Baddha Konasana, bringing the soles of the feet together, let the knees fall out to the sides, holding on to the feet, opening them up like a book pressing the muscles of the feet in towards one another and folding. You can gently press the elbows into the thighs by pressing them out to the sides and then down, finding some space from your hips to your thighs. From here, you can decide if you would rather have a nice flat back by drawing the shoulder blades together or a nice round in the spine. It's up to you and how you feel today. As you're ready, we will roll up and we'll find our way to Gomukhasana by crossing the left knee over the right knee, making sure your both hips are on the ground and the feet are on the sides of the body. You can feel free to sit on a block here if this is a little too much for you. We'll move into Gomukhasana arms by reaching the right arm up to the sky, bringing the hand in between the shoulder blades, reaching the left arm out, and then drawing the back of the hand to the middle of the back. Walking the hands up as much as you can, or you can keep them as far away as you need to. Grabbing onto a strap or your shirt, or just reaching. Folding forward as you wish, or sitting up tall. When you're ready, rolling up, reaching the arms out, and switching sides your own way. This time moving with the right knee over the left knee in Gomukhasana. We'll find the arms once we're ready by reaching the left hand in between the shoulder blades and the right hand behind the back. Breathing here as you're ready, rolling forward. If you're not quite sure how to do Gomukhasana arms, we have a video for that, so check that out. At any point, backing off, we want to just feel a nice stretch in the hips, so no pinching, no pain. As you're ready, rolling up, releasing the arms. And then from here, we'll move to Agni Stambhasana, fire log pose, which is well, we have a video for. Starting with the left ankle, crossing over the right knee, spreading your sit bones far apart. Taking the option to just sit up nice and tall, or you can walk your arms out in front of you, rolling your head down towards the floor. Continuing to breathe, the breath is the catalyst for the posture, so keep the breath deep, inhaling and exhaling. Walking it up, we'll switch sides, rolling the weight into the hands, uncross the legs and switch, making sure to keep both feet nice and flexed. I like to take my hands underneath my sit bones and actually spread my cheeks apart to get a little bit more space in this posture. Inhaling, feeling the posture ground, and exhale, deepen a little bit more.
Placing the weight back into the hands, walking yourself back up if you're folded. And we will release. Making your way to downward facing dog, walking out the knees, bend one at a time. Feel the hips sway from side to side. Any movements that you feel you need to do to wake yourself up. Reaching your right leg up to the sky, bringing the right knee to the right wrist, finding pigeon. You can find the version that works best for you today by either bringing your right shin parallel to the top of the mat or drawing the right foot in a little bit closer towards the pelvis. You decide what works for you and what works for your knees. You don't want any pain here, so just making sure you're doing this properly and using any props if necessary by maybe tucking a block underneath your right hip if that feels good or possibly even placing a block or two underneath your chest. Breathing deeply as you draw the right hip back and the left hip forward and energetically pulling the left knee up towards your right knee. Walking your hands up will find iguana arms by placing the hands out to the sides with the fingers facing out, bending one arm and then the other as you draw the chest from one side to the other. Moving with the breath, on the inhales coming up and on the exhales bending over. Pausing at any points of tension here, those pockets that are filled with it, that might need an extra little bit of TLC today. Take your time, there's no rush. From here, we'll take the outside of the right arm to the outside of your right foot, bringing yourself into a prayer twist. If this is too deep, you can take the hand right to the floor to the side. Keep pulling the right hip back and the left hip forward, making sure the left foot doesn't sickle in. We want the foot directly behind the knee and the chest is nice and open. Exhale, walk the hands down, and we'll make our way back to downward facing dog, shaking off the leg. Switching sides as you're ready, inhale, left leg up. On the exhale, bringing the left knee to the left wrist. Again, taking the variation that works for you by either having the shin more parallel to the top of the mat or bringing the left foot in towards the hip. Checking out your back leg, bringing it more towards the midline of the mat and making sure that the foot is not sickling in. Folding forward as you're ready and moving with your breath. As you're here on this side, pulling the left hip back and the right hip forward and energetically drawing the right knee up towards the front of the mat. This can be a very deep posture for some of us. So making sure that you are breathing throughout that is the constant, the breath. It is never ending and it will always be there for us. Moving your hands up, we'll take the iguana arm variation by bringing the hands out to the sides with the fingers facing out. Exhale, bending into one arm and straightening the other, finding your twist. And inhale, come up. Exhaling, moving with the breath, your own pace. As those pockets of tensions begin to arise, begin to focus on those areas a little more by pausing at that place, giving it a little bit of extra breath, sending love there, sending encouragement, and not getting frustrated. Taking your twist, the outside of the left arm to the inside of your left sole of your foot, or bringing the hand down to the ground if that's more comfortable. To make the variation even deeper, you can bring the shoulder to the sole of the foot. Your elbows are in a straight line and your thumbs are reaching towards your sternum. Exhaling gently, bringing the hands down, walking back forward and moving your way to downward facing dog. Moving around that left leg a little bit. From here, coming forward to the top of your mat in your own way. If you're ready to float, float. Maybe even you'll catch a handstand here. Nice flat back, watch your neighbor. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach your arms high. 
and on your exhale draw your hands to your heart center on your inhale finding Utkatasana chair pose bringing your big toes to kiss we'll cross the left ankle over the right knee same variation we did on the floor this time we're just going to be standing we're gonna be a little wobbly here so making for sure you have your drishti finding your pelvic floor and exhaling finding your twist with the outside of the left arm to the sole of the left foot inhale rise up reaching your arms up and straightening the legs finding Tadasana second side inhale reach up Utkatasana Find your chair pose as you cross your right ankle over your left knee and exhaling, finding your twist. Soften your gaze here. Maybe you'll fall over. It's okay. Come right back up again. Pause this video and take a little bit of extra time to get into this posture. Coming out, we'll come out the same way we came in and finding our way back to Tadasana, Mountain Pose. Reach the arms up. Exhale, folding down. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, place the hands down and find your way through your vinyasa. Exhale, downward facing dog. And we'll move our way into seated. Bringing the feet out in front of you, bending at the knees. Cross the left ankle over the right, flexing the foot. Inhale, reach the left arm up, and on your exhale, take the tricep to the sole of the left foot and twist to your right. Plug your right shoulder away from your ear, soften your face, and breathe. Inhale, reach the left arm up, exhale, place it down. Inhale, second side, crossing the right ankle over the left knee. Reach the right arm up to the sky on the inhale, and on the exhale, bring the tricep to the sole of the foot. You might find that one side is a little easier or harder than the other. Just move with it, back off as you need to. You don't have to go so deep. Make it your practice and make it your own. Coming out of the posture, bringing the hands from behind you. Bring your legs out in front of you for Paschimottanasana, a seated forward fold. Reach the arms and fold. You can grab onto the outsides of the feet, the big toes, or if you have enough space, maybe taking a bind by grabbing onto opposite wrist behind your feet. Breathing here. Shoulders away from the ears, and then inhale, rise up. Walk your hands back towards your hips. Find a nice seated posture. Sitting up nice and tall, finding your breath, deep inhale, and deep exhale. Bringing your hands to heart center and bowing, thanking yourself for your practice, sharing this time with us. Namaste.